Your YouTube ain't really popping like that. You don't want to do YouTube, man. You want to do Snapchat. Dude, I'm not doing no Snapchat. I'm not doing no Snapchat. I'm doing YouTube, okay? When I was in college, my coach told me this story about this general that had this army that wanted to expand his territory and take over this island. This island was already occupied by an army that had four times the men, four times the strength, the power, they had more weapons. They were just an overall bigger, stronger empire than this smaller group that wanted to overtake it. So the story goes on and he still wants to take this this island over. And he tells all his troops, like, listen, man, we're going to go over here and take over this island. This is going to be our island. We're going to expand our territory. We're going to take over this island. And all his troops are looking at him like, he's crazy. Like, what? What are you, what are you talking about? Do you understand that they're, they're a lot bigger than us? Do you understand that they have a lot more people than us? Do you understand they have a lot more manpower? They have a lot more weapons than us? We don't want to take over this island. We're going to get killed in the process. But this general was on his mindset of, you know what? We're going to take over this island regardless. So he gets all his guys in the ship, and he's headed towards the island, knowing good and well that they're outmanned, knowing good and well that they don't have as many weapons as this island has, this, this army has. As they're making their way to this island, even over the waves, crashing into the ship as they're going into this island, he can hear some of his troops talking to the other ones like, as soon as we get back into this island, we gotta figure out a way how we can get up out of here. We gotta figure out a way how we can still get back to our families. So the, so the general is hearing these guys whispering and they're, and they're scared about what's going to happen when they get to this island knowing they're going to be outmanned when they get there and he does the unthinkable when they show up to the island and they get off he turns around and lights the dog going ship on fire all the ships that they came up on he lit them on fire and all and his guys look at him like what, what are you doing so he, he talks to him he rouses him up and said look we don't have a, we don't have any options this is what we have going on we're going to overtake this island and we're gonna expand. We're gonna expand our territory right here. There is no plan B. This is what we have for ourselves right now. Don't worry about your families. Don't worry about anything else. Focus on what's going on right here. This is what we got going on. When the battle was over and the smoke settled, the smaller army is the one that actually won. They actually were the ones that were taking over. That took over that island and expanded their territory. Well, now why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this for a number of reasons. One reason, athletically. Athletically, you may not be getting playing time. You may not be seeing eye to eye with your coach right now. You may not be. Uh, you may be running an offense that you that you're not a fan of right now. And what I'm telling you is, if you don't focus on what the tools that you have, then you'll never have a chance. You'll never have a chance. I can't. I can't tell you how many times I've been on a team. Teammates didn't like a certain offense. And they spent the rest of their time talking about a plan B of what we should be doing. That if we would have focused on the offense or we would have focused on the defense, then we would have had a better opportunity to win ball games. But we were so busy looking at plan B. We were so busy looking at the back door. This mentality is even the same way as it relates to the classroom. I know how you're feeling. You get in college, you say, oh, man, I want to be, I want to major in physical therapy. So you get in science class, and if you're anything like me, you might not be able to see your hand before your face in this classroom. So the first thing you say is, I got to get out of this classroom. This ain't for me, dog. This ain't, I got to get up out of here. And what I'm telling you is, hold on, wait a minute. Stay for the entire year. Grind it out for the entire year. And see how that feels. If every time something gets tough, you just, pick, you just figure out that you're about to leave, you just start packing your stuff and leave, then you'll never make any, any progress. Worry about transferring after you give all you can this year. You can transfer during the summer, but right now, right here, right this very moment, stay focused on this very moment. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. If the first gust of, of, of wind can knock you off your pivot for the sense that now you want to rethink your whole major because you had one bad class, You'll never have an opportunity. You'll never have a chance. Focus on your win. Focus on the victory of you actually being successful in this class or on this team. And at the end of the year, if it doesn't work, then you worry about that then. You make your, your calibrations then. But that's right now, while you're in the battle, you as good as being on the enemy side if you're already double thinking, thinking about what if this doesn't work? Maybe I need an exit strategy. Maybe I need a plan B. Don't think of it like that.
cloudy.